<sighs> hey guys, this is the D aka Dark Frozen Depths, and this is just a random video, but remember how a long time ago I said I wasn't gonna be on um on the Harem Bio Club forums for um Comedy He Made Project. Well, I've been on the um Flower and Egg Girl ones for a while, but I just decided to take a quick look at this just to see like if there's anything about the maintenance I've been waiting on for who knows how long. But uh yeah, same typical stuff. There's a few people I know that was, well, knew that was doing the same stuff. There's a lot of crap that people on her is just overlooking. It's like, wow. Like, this is right. It's like, if you, even if you don't need to use Apocalypse, just sell her off for orbs. And yeah, remember when I said Rush was debatable? There's been like a two-page debate about this stuff right here on here, so... <laughs> And these are the so-called elites that can't make up their mind? I mean, I'm not trying to talk crap on them or anything, but it's like... Quick glancing at this is just, wow. It's just, wow. <sighs> See... This is why this game can be get very, very debatable. There's one thing that tends to be overlooked, and I notice that they're still doing the same mistake ever since I've been on here, but apparently when you look at stuff you can get, you have to fa factor in these few things. First off, is it worth going after the item, as in can you actually benefit from it? If you're a newer player, by all means go for it, because we have two SSR weapons on here, and the first one is easy to get. Provided you can clear, even if you can't even clear ultimate, at least clear expert, you should be able to still get this item. It doesn't take that much. The second one, however, you might not be able to get max copies of it, but you still should try to get as much as possible anyways, because, let's face it, an SSR that you can break at least once, maybe twice, definitely twice, but maybe once, is likely more powerful than the SR you can max out. Because max level SR doesn't even hit level 100. I think it stops at 85, 80 or 85, somewhere around that mark. To put this in perspective, you have an SSR that is likely to give better skills overall compared to the SR. And it goes up to level 75. Definitely goes up to level 100 if you break it twice. So, there's that. And then... What is getting compared to this new rush we weapon is an SR Assault. And it's kind of obvious when you look at it, but you have an SR Assault, which gives a medium attack boost. Which means it caps at 13%. And this um, weapon, supposedly, I think, like, if I go back, it should say it somewhere on there. Because um, I'm going back into this real quick, because this, like, info right here. But, um, yeah, that's the thing. It's like, yeah, it's small assault, but medium, um, medium rush. So you got a 10% assault and a supposedly 3% chance to double attack. So you're sacrificing 3% attack power for something that can give you more double attack and offset that. Because double attack does trigger quite a bit normally. And then you got an extra 3% chance of it. There's a lot of buffs that also up it too. So double attack can happen a lot. But yeah, it's likely to have better base stats. And then on top of that, definitely more skill reliability. Because on average, SSR will total a large increase. On average. So it's just simple math. If you really try to come up with it, it's like... Okay, is the base stats going to be higher? Is the abilities going to be higher? Honestly, like, it's still up to you if you really do want to get it. Because no matter how good or bad somebody tells you a weapon is, you still need to make up your own decisions. Because, granted, there's some things that definitely work better than others. Like, we're not going to debate the 100% on Dolan's. Nobody will debate that they're the best ones in the game. But, there's stuff where it's like, you can probably do better if you get better stuff 
you could probably do better if you had different setups if you're Kamihime. Like, they're suggesting Kamadeva on the, um, on the Japanese wiki, and she's an R char character. So, yeah. But, um, that's the whole thing. It's more what you make of it. I have to clear this up. Because, honestly, like, and this even traces back to my videos, because I've done quite a bit of Kamihime videos. I've done videos on other games, too. But, at the end of the day, you still have to make your own decisions. That's why I don't even try to act like my word is law. I act like I'm giving suggestions, basically. It's like, okay, here's this. You might want to go after it. There you go. There's some stuff you definitely want to go after, for sh for certain. But it's still dependent on if you can get them, because this game is very RNG-heavy outside of what you can grind for events. I just had to clear that up. But... And again, this is not knocking these forums, because they do have good info. Like, I can't deny that. It's just the fact that there's sometimes problems when you get said info. I've seen that on other forums. I've seen that in YouTube comments. I've seen that anywhere, basically. It's more just, just try to figure out what you're trying to do, and then go from there. That's the biggest step. Now, I said there's a few things when it comes to getting the weapons and all that type of stuff. First thing I obviously said was just see if it's worth it for you. Second is to see how much time and effort you're putting into it. Because, let's face it, if you can't core ultimate, that's really going to set you back. If you can't core expert, don't even try to think about getting the second weapon. Like, it, you may or may not get a few um, gold chest drops from, um, from standard, but you're really pushing it at that point. You probably won't even max break the first one. So, the cheaper one like, is probably about a fourth of the cost of the more expensive ones, so it's like, you can max break the first weapon four times, just about, before you can max break the second one. And if you're doing standard, you're not getting that many materials, period, point blank. If you're doing beginner, then just forget about it. If you can't get past beginner, then you shouldn't even be trying to invent period, point blank. If you can't get past standard, maybe try to get some stuff from beginner, but don't expect an SSR weapon. Unless by some serious stroke of luck you manage to see one drop, because I don't think you can drop that low, but it might be possible. And then there's a case of, if you can clear standard, but not expert, then you have a chance of getting the SSR weapon. Just the weaker one, not the stronger one. You need to be able to at least be strong enough for said content, otherwise you don't even think about it. Like, that's another part of planning ahead and everything, too. But, the biggest thing, hands down, is how much mileage you're going to get out of the stuff. Because, you can go chase after the newest stuff, it might be super powerful OP, but, how long are you going to use it is the biggest thing you want to want to think about, because, that's the other reason why I'm not going after guild orders so, so much, because I don't have too many things that can go final break anyways. I don't see too much of a point to go after, like, out of my way dealing with guild order, unless it's, like, early preparation. In which case, I still do it offhand a little bit, just to try and test the waters and see how strong my team is. But, again, I don't have too many weapons that can final break anyways. A lot of the ones I can final break... Are stuff that's like I have to go not only get guild order but also go get other materials too and it's just a huge grind it took forever for me to get that phoenix bow final broken and then you don't need final break weapons just yet you don't need them do you want them yes they're powerful very but needing them is a totally different story and that's the other thing about all this stuff it's like when you need something, it's best to go after it. But if you don't get too much mileage out of it, it's still not really that much worth it. Like, some grids, I don't have full SSR stuff. So, a lot of my SR weapons, I'm not even fully trying to max them out. Because I'm just, at the end of the day, going to end up wasting materials and resources trying to get their skill levels up. And hey, guess what? I'm going to replace it. So... Again, that's three things you really have to factor in. If you if you need something or not, 
again, it's up to you if you really do need it. If it's even worth going after because of the fact that, like, you may not get that much uses out of it. And then the third thing, which has a little bit more weight than you th think, is if you're even capable of getting it. You don't want to waste your time on some stuff because there's a lot of limited things in this game. And it's probably better spent somewhere else. It's like, we still have the Ming Huo crossover. You might be better off putting your resources on that because the content's easier, as opposed to maybe the Apocalypse thing, which might show up again. Because I don't know if Ming Huo is going to show up again. It might, but I don't know. I know there's definitely a different um, Koihime crossover that comes over, and that has some very good SR. But that's the whole thing. It, it's ultimately up to you at the end of the day. I can only give suggestions. It's not like I'm the one playing your account or anything. Same case with anybody that might tell you stuff. It's like, you can go here, get some advice or whatever. End of the day, you still got to get it yourself. So, that's a big thing about that. I can also say the same thing when it comes to getting the regalias. Because you're starting to need them for a multitude of stuff. Not just the um, heroic... Her, the, um, I didn't mean the heroic weapons. I'm thinking of a different game. The um, For the souls. Well, they call them... They call them heroes, I think, on the um, JP side, but um, the souls, they use these regalia to get these weapons, and quite frankly, I've had Herx at one star for who knows how long, and that's only for my light team, I haven't had, gotten any others. It takes 30 regalia to actually get one of these things, assuming that you're religiously completing your own raid and getting MVP, you're only getting 6 a day. You're only getting six a day, and that's if the trades haven't per haven't um been exhausted. So you start needing ten ten pieces instead of five. So, granted, if you are pretty strong and actually start your own raids and all that, you can actually get a regal a regalia weapon fairly quickly. But it's not guaranteed. But that's the whole thing with that. It's just. It takes a long time to get these things, and then you're starting to need them for final breaks as well. I needed 10 white ones for the Phoenix Bow. So, yeah. That set me back a little bit. I mean, Herc's weapon is actually pretty good at, as is. I could make it better, but like I said, it's up to you on things, because I'm not really trying to go too much out of my way for stuff. I'm not trying to be a top-tier meta player. I'm trying to be one that, as far as I'm concerned, actually gets past the content. That's what you need at the end of the day. You need to be able to clear the content you're aiming for. And that's that's the other reason why I can also suggest some things. Like, recently, somebody from my unions asked me if Adolans that have defense against certain elements can help. And honestly, they can. You can start taking a lot of damage in this game and some of the higher content. But, are you sacrificing too much attack power to actually clear it as well? Like, I can easily see somebody using a 100% Idolin and um, an and SR Idolin that protects you against a certain element. Because you're getting 100% elemental attack, at least. And, well, at least 80 if it's a light or dark. And then you're also getting, I don't know, maybe a 10, 20, maybe 30% damage reduction toward an element. And that's a lot. And keep in mind, this isn't a buff. It's at all times. That's why I kind of like the um, Idolins, like... Like, um, Almothea and, um, Barong, they're actually pretty good. Like, so many people swear up and down, oh, you somebody has got more attack power, I'm sorry. Between Barong's effect, which is a random chance but still can help, and the fact that Nicholas buffs your enemies, that's why I can't use her. That 5% attack power is not going to do too much in my case. It might... Because I have a lot of weapon power and all that. But it's not something that's like I desperately need it. Because if I really was that worried about attack power, I'd be spamming a gotcha until Monogarmer came out. So, yeah. But, that's the whole thing. It's like, you can come up with different strategies and all that. At the end of the day, whatever works. Whatever works. And I cannot stress that enough. But, anyways... That's enough about this. I'm I'm going to go back to the Flower Knight Girl um, forums because I've been looking at that too. There's been a few th issues with that game and I was looking into like um 
the not loading thing isn't an issue, but it has had trouble loading for me lately. It's it's kind of weird. And then on top of that, there is a um some issue where one of the characters suddenly disappear from people's inventory. They give us 15 flower gems for it, though. And you need 50 for the 10 plus 1 pool. So on the equivalence of um, Kamihime Project, that's like... I think... 900 magic jewels? 900 or 1,000? That's on the equivalence of that. So, yeah. But, um... Anyways, that's enough about this. But again, I really can't stress this enough. You gotta remember these four things. If you can clear the content... If you literally do need what you're going after, how long you're going to be using what you're going after, and whatever strategy works. Remember those four things, and you'll you'll do fine. You might not do as good as some other players because, of course, there's still the ones that are just going completely hard and going, okay, I gotta get this much attack power, I gotta get this much at Dolan's, I gotta go after all this elite stuff where I'm so broken over power that I have to clear content in like two minutes, but... That's the whole thing with that. Just remember the four things I just mentioned. You should be fine. Because you will get stronger eventually. We all had to start from somewhere. But anyways, that's all for this video. Next one, expect it to be Apocalypse. I'm still waiting for this game to finally turn over. And I'm definitely going to hop right into the um, Ragnarok fight. But I'm going to do it with my R team because my... My light grid is actually pretty strong. I want to see how far my R team can get, especially since Kama Deva is part of it. But, um, Apocalypse Ragnarok is definitely going to be the next video you see. I guarantee that. And then I'm going to upload one after it, which is part of my game. It's going to be the part two of that. But, anyways, that's all I got for this video, guys. Take care.